Hello children, good morning. We are going ahead with the preparation of UPSC GAT English examination. At first, we are going to take up spotting the errors. Spotting the errors require a good grasp of grammar, usage and nuances of expressions. You have to revise whatever grammar you have studied. The rules of grammar you must remember when you are studying this particular question. So we are going to take a few rules at the beginning and then we'll have a practice sets and then we'll discuss those practice sets. Let us take up the rule sound, spotting the errors. So rule number one. Ensure the verb agrees with the true subject and not with an intervening plural object of a preposition or any other intervening plural. So here, subject verb agreement. Now here let's take up the subject. The box of Nestle chocolates. Is is helping verb. Is missing. Whether should be is, are. You will be confused whether they should be is or are. Chocolates. Now chocolates it's in plural. Then why is? Because the true subject is box not chocolates. So here is missing. What is missing? The box is missing. The box of Nestle chocolates is missing. So is it right sentence? It's a correct sentence. And you have to find out the true subject. Subject verb agreement is very important. The box is missing. The box of Nestle chocolates is missing. Rule number two on spotting the errors. Words like with, together with, along with, besides, as well as, including, in addition to, etc. do not affect the number of the verb. If the subject is singular, a singular verb is required. If the subject is plural, then plural verb is required. For example, the television along with the cabinet is to be sold. The television along with the cabinet. Now along with the cabinet. And what is the helping of the is? So it has to be singular. Our chief competitor as well as our sales is obliged to increase prices. Our chief competitor. That's in singular. So it requires singular verb. So that's why eats. So helping verb is eats. Have you understood now? Whenever the words like with, together with, along with, besides, as well as including or in addition to, if they are used, then they will not affect the number of the verb. So you have to find out at first what comes the subject. If subject is singular, singular verb has to be used. If it's a plural, plural verb has to be used. Rule number three of spotting the errors. If the subject is made up of both singular and plural words connected by or, nor, either or, neither nor, not only, but also the verb agrees with the nearer part of the subject. For example, neither the quality nor the prices have changed. Neither the prices nor the quality has changed. Now let us understand this. If the subject is made up of both singular and plural words and if it is connected by or, nor, either or. Now let's take up the example. Neither the quality. So what is near a part of the subject that you have to understand. Now neither the quality nor the prices. So what is nearer? 
part of the subject to the verb here in the case of first example it's a prices and therefore you will find that the helping verb is have and that's a plural verb because the subject is plural there which is nearer to the helping verb in the case of second example neither the prices nor the quality the quality that is singular subject and therefore the helping verb which is there that is also singular therefore it is has and same rule applies for remaining all verb groups of words like not only but also neither nor either or rule number 4 on spotting the errors nouns plural in form but singular in meaning such as news measles physics and so on usually take singular verbs for example news is traveling faster than ever before physics has fascinated my hostel mate for months now let us take up these examples news it appears plural but actually the meaning is singular news measles it's a name of the disease it's a though yes is there it's not plural physics is a subject that is singular so though they are all appearing plural their meaning is singular and therefore you have to use singular verb so news is physics has okay so singular verbs have been used so such kind of examples you will find many like mums electronics tactics economics and so on rule number 5 on spotting the errors when the group is thought of acting as a unit the verb should be singular the committee so there are many members of the committee but we are considering as a unit we are considering as a one whole group and therefore the verb has to be singular but when it means that the members of the committee various members of the committee and when we are pointing out each member then it has to be plural otherwise when we are thinking as a unit then the verb has to be singular the committee has agreed to submit its report on friday the majority has made its addition so the majority as a one body we are taking up and therefore it the verb will be singular let us study rule number 6 on spotting the errors after expressions such as a part of one of of a majority of two thirds of in that case you have to use a singular verb if a singular noun follows after of and you have to use a plural verb if a plural noun follows of now let's take up some of the examples two thirds of the mailing list has been typed now here list is there and after that has two thirds of the mailing list has so there for here it is singular verb the majority of our staff members leave now here members leave so what has come there their plural verb has come so the majority of our staff members live in villages so if plural noun is there then plural verb has to be there if singular noun is there then you have to use singular verb rule number 7 of spotting the errors the expression the number has a singular meaning and requires a singular verb whereas a number has a plural meaning and takes up plural verb now you have to remember the number of and a number of if the number comes then the verb has to be singular if it's a a number then the verb has to be be a plural the number of board members is very small a number of our staff 
are going on leave. If the number is there, singular verb will be there. So the number is a number are. Remember this. If the sentence contains the expression one of, then you have to use a singular verb. One of the reasons, one of the causes, one of the reasons for his demotion is his carelessness. One of the reasons is actually here. Reasons is there. Even then we are using is. Because it is referring to one reason. Actual meaning is that it is referring to one reason, and that's why the expression one of the reasons. And therefore, the verb you have to use is singular. Rule number nine on spotting the errors. Certain nouns are always used in singular, and therefore they are always followed by. Singular verbs. Now, if you take up the example of here, furniture, luggage, you'll find that they are always used in singular. They are never used in plural, but their meaning is plural. When we refer to the furniture, we are referring to chairs, we are referring to tables. So their meaning is plural. But even then. These nouns are always singular and followed by singular verbs. Remember that the plural of furniture is not furnitures; it is always furniture, luggage, luggage. So it is used with me, with plural sense. But even then, we have to use singular verb. Information. There is no informations. It is always information. Advice. machinery poetry business in the case of all these we have to use singular verb let us study the rule number 10 on spotting the errors when we are using the words each every either and neither they always use singularly and they always require singular verbs each of them does have political ambition Here, each and does. So does is singular. So each of them does. Though them is there, we are doing singular one. Neither boy is eligible for selection. What does it mean? Not even one boy out of those two, they are eligible for selection. So neither when we are using, then you have to use each singular one. When you are using either, one of them. two boys and one of them that is either so there also you have to use singular verb so far we have studied the rules of spotting the errors now let us have the practice and let us study the kind of questions that appear in the examination so every session will take up some rules and we'll have the practice sessions too at the beginning 10 questions will be given to you and you have to attempt those 10 questions and then afterwards we'll discuss the answers of these questions so shall we begin question number 1 our teacher slash often emphasizes on slash the need for slash a lot of oral practice slash no error our teacher e often emphasizes on b the need for c a lot of oral practice d no error e attempt this question think over it at the end we'll discuss the answers of 10 questions question number 2 as he was feeling very thirsty a after the long journey b he went into a bar c and ordered a cold drink 
D. Noir E. He told me that A. He couldn't buy the paintings B. Which he wanted very much C. Because he hadn't enough money D. Noir E. Time for you to silently read and reflect on the answer. Question number four. I will now deal with him. A. In a manner different. B. From the one I have adopted so far. C. No error. D. Question number five. His manners indicate A. That he has no other intention. B. Than C. To steal his money. D. No error. E. Question number six. Page after page of Gita were read. B. And it gave great consolation. C. To his mind. D. No error. E. Question number seven. He was unanimously A. Elected B. The general secretary C. Of our association D. No error E. Question number eight. Before giving A. The mixture B. To the child C. Shake it thoroughly D. No error. E. Question number nine on spotting errors. The short story A should not exceed B more than C. Two hundred words. D. No error. E. Question number 10. He looks at everything. A. From. B. There. C. Best side. D. No error. E. We have so far seen 10 questions. That's the end of the practice session. I'm quite sure that you have attempted all these 10 questions. Practice makes man perfect. So you have to keep on practicing. And in every section, we will have practice sessions. So we have begun with the first practice session. And let us discuss the answers on these questions of practice set 1 on spotting the errors. So let us take up these questions on spotting the errors. The first question, our teacher often emphasizes on the need for a lot of oral practice. The answer is C. Our teacher often emphasizes on the need of so what is required there? Of is required there in place of for. So the need of a lot of oral practice. You must know which preposition should be used. So prepositions are very important. Study of the preposition is a prerequisite if you want to do well in spotting the errors. So here the need of a lot of oral practice. Let us go to the second question. As he was feeling very thirsty after the long journey, he went into a bar and ordered a cold drink. No error. So what is the answer there? Answer is C. Why C is the answer? He went in a bar. He went into. Into will show movement. 
into will show motion he jumped into the river so wherever there is motion then we should use into so here the appropriate preposition will be in he went in a bar so in should be replaced with into let's go to the third example he told me that he couldn't buy the paintings which he wanted very much because he hadn't enough money so now here the answer is c why c is the answer now remember here he told me that there is a clause there and this clause is in simple past tense he told me that he couldn't buy the paintings which he had wanted very much so one more clause that comes over there that which he had wanted very much which shows earlier time and therefore here you have to use past perfect tense so here it will be past perfect tense which he had wanted very much because he hadn't enough money so even after that also what comes there simple past tense comes so therefore you have to use past perfect tense and the answer is c which he had wanted very much let's go to the question number 4 i will now deal with him in a manner different from the one i have adopted so far no error so what is the answer here now answer is c now answer is c i have adopted in place of that what should be there now i will now deal with him in a manner different from the one i have been adopting so far so there is a period of time that goes on so far i have been adopting so have you understood this i will now deal with him in a manner different from the one i have been adopting so far so the answer is c let's move on to the question number 5 his manners indicate that he has no other intention than to steal his money now see here in this clause that he has no other intention but to steal his money so what should come but in place of then so therefore answer is c let's move on to the next question question number 6 page after page of geeta were read and it gave great consolation to his mind no error so what is error here of geeta were read page after page of geeta remember here it is referring to bhagavad geeta and bhagavad geeta is a sacred book it's a holy book and in the case of holy book we have to use article the so the geeta and geeta is a one book so what should be the verb form so verb has to be singular so page after page of the geeta was read and therefore the answer is b question number 7 he was unanimously elected the general secretary of our association no error what is the answer there answer is e because there is no error and we often think he was unanimously elected as the general secretary of our association as is not required not necessary that we should use as and therefore the answer is no error let's move on to the question number 8 before giving the mixture to the child shake it thoroughly no error now in the case of this question there is confusion and because of that confusion we may think that the answer may be d before giving the mixture to the child shake it thoroughly but grammatically 
it is correct sentence. Semantically, it's, it may give different meanings in the case of D, but grammatically, it's a correct sentence and therefore, the answer is no error E. Let us study these last two questions. The short story should not exceed more than 200 words. Now here you, you see here the word exceed is used and after that more than is used. Should not exceed. So therefore more than is redundant. Should not exceed 200 words. There is no need of a phrase more than. So the answer is C and the error is C. Therefore the answer is C. Let's go to the last question. Question number 10. He looks at everything from their best side. No error. Now he looks at everything from there. There is referring to everything. But remember that when we are using the pronoun everything, singular pronoun has to be there. So it should be it's not there. So it's should be in place of there. He looks at everything from its best side. So the answer is C because the error is C. With this we come to the end of the practice session 1.